Hi everyone, in this short video I will show you how to best use our play feature, which is the ability to play against a human-like computer opponent and receive explanations during your play session. Let's start. So in our main menu, we will be choosing the play option. And uh, this little pop-up box here will allow us to choose just some very basic options, including what uh, piece color we want to start with. Do we want to have this as random? Uh, the difficulty level of the computer opponent, which I highly recommend just leaving on your level, which will allow the computer opponent to adapt to your strength. While the computer opponent does not display an ELO rating, it does a very good job at understanding what your level is and it will try and reflect a balanced game experience, not like a regular engine. So just leave this on your level. And of course, at any point, even during the game, you will be able to change this and adjust it as, as you wish, whether to go a bit lower on the difficulty level or even going higher. The auto move option is one that I tend not to use. It just means that if a certain piece has only one square to move to, then clicking on that piece will automatically uh, move it to that square. And then we click on start playing. And now let's go over some very cool features. Number one, especially when training on openings, uh, we can force the computer opponent to play a certain opening. So for example, if I'm training on uh, a queen's uh, game, and in this case, I see that black went with the uh, king side fianchetto, uh, then I would actually like the computer to play something else. So what I could do, so I could go here to the bottom, just below the board, where we have the moves list, and right click on the last move played by the computer opponent, and click delete from here. So now basically, I'm the one who can move any piece I wish, uh, dictating the course of action for the computer opponent. So let's say I'm gonna play this move instead, which is E6. So now we see that the opening has changed and this is also very helpful. Information about the opening always shows up here just below the graph. And in addition, the graph itself is very helpful. We can also decide to collapse it and hide it, but I actually like keeping it open when I play against a computer opponent because then I can automatically see where is it that uh, I either make a mistake or the computer makes a mistake. The graph, of course, indicates the advantage. So right now, because the graph is colored in white, we understand that the advantage is on white side. To be more specific, it's plus 0.27 centipons. Okay, now we can continue playing and let's just uh, blitz a few more moves in the opening. Okay, great. Let's do this as well. So we can see the graph keeps updating. Uh, and now the nice thing is that at this point, if I, for some reason, am stuck and I'm not sure what to do, this is where I want to click on Deep Decode. Deep Decode will explain this position as it is right now through White's perspective. So it will recommend what would be White's next best move and it will explain why that move is good. So we're just gonna click on it and we have the system starting to process uh, this position. And in the meanwhile, I can continue playing either any move that I wish or to even just wait until Decoches brings me some preliminary results about the position. Here we go. Okay, so let's say it recommends uh, knight c3. Uh, I'm going to play the move knight c3 now, and I'm going to attend the explanation once it's ready. So let's just play knight to c3. The game continues. It is now black's turn. And again, at any point, if I feel like this position is currently very interesting, or I'm not sure what to do, then I can click on deep decode again. And as you can see here at the bottom, where the moves show up, uh, I can see that these two positions are still in progress. And once the decoding process will be over, I will have a green ribbon just on the side of those moves. Okay, so I can continue playing in the meanwhile. 
and this just goes on. Okay, and here we go. We have one position ready for view. We're gonna click on this one. And here we get the explanation. So knight to c3, for example, why it is a good move. I have the explanation here ready for me to start exploring and I can go through the entire line of stockfish and also look at the threats. And when I feel like I'm done, I'm just gonna move on either to the next position or to just continue playing the game. You will notice that once I move backward in the game, the game will pause, which is fine. All I have to do is just click on resume game. Now it's my turn and then I can continue playing. And this little menu over here, if you click on it, is where you can decide to either resign the game or even adjust the difficulty level. And here we go. Another position is ready for view and I can have a look at it and see exactly what's going on. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Have a great day.